Okay, hey guys, uh, just make a quick little video on how I style my handlebar mustache. The first rule of thumb here is that your mustache is your mustache. You do with it what you want. You do what makes you happy. But anybody who's curious what I do, this is what I do. Uh, this is pretty much so how I start off in the morning, straight out of bed. You know, a little sloppy and all. Um, first thing I do is I wet it, get it good and wet. I'm gonna duck down here into the sink for a sec. Okay, that's about as good as wet as I can get it, and that's fine. What I do is I do it a quick towel dry, just to get the really wet stuff off. Next thing you're gonna need is a round brush. Any round brush, that'll do. This is the one I use. And you're gonna need a hair dryer. Gotta have a hair dryer, round brush, get things going. Anytime you use heat, whether it be a hair dryer, curling iron, flat iron, which I don't recommend, heat is bad for hair. Anytime you use it, always use it on the coolest setting you have. If you wanna add a little warm to it, you can wear warm to it if you need to. I personally don't need to, I use it on cool. For me, that's it. Just enough to put a little bit of a curl into it, just to get things moving along. I prefer a heavily waxed mustache. Some guys like to go natural, which is pretty much so you can go out the door like this. You can add a little bit of wax, give it a little bit of shape to it. Again, your mustache, you do with it what you wanna do. Again, I use wax. My favorite wax is right here, the dandelions wax. It's great stuff, all natural, has lanolin in it. Lanolin is a great conditioner for your hair. At the end of the day, when you wash your wax out, everybody recommends maybe a little beard oil, a little lanolin, something in there just to keep it healthy. First thing I do is I scoop out a pretty good amount of the wax. That's pretty much it. All wax, I think, most wax will benefit from the use of some heat. So now I'll up the hairdryer to warm. I'll warm this up a little bit. That's good. Basically all that's doing is softening it up just enough where it'll go through the hairs nice and easy. I mash it between my two fingers pretty good. Get a little bit on the thumbs. And for the first application, I go really gentle, just barely touching the hairs. Slowly working it in. What you're not gonna wanna do is grab hard, pull hard, anything too aggressive. You work hard for every single hair, and you're not gonna wanna go yanking any hairs out that you don't need to. Okay, so off to a pretty good start here. And what I like to do is I like to start slow and gradually build. You can see it's starting to take shape here. Now on a casual day, I might just go out just like this, put a little tweak in the curls, a little bit there, a little bit there. And you might be happy walking out the door like that. But again, like I said before, I tend to go a little heavy to get a lot of control and some tight curls. Okay, now at this point, what I usually do, 
but I'm not real big into wax in the middle. I don't like the feel of it. So I use a residue from the, the tips. I kind of wipe into the, into the middle, into the body, kind of make the part. And then what I'll do, is I'll hit that real fast with the hairdryer. That'll just soften it up a little bit. And then that's the only time I use a comb, right in there, just to kind of shape it, just to shape it. Okay, second round, back to the wax. I don't heat it this time. Sometimes you can always use the tip of your can comb. You don't have a can comb, gotta get a can comb. All right, second apply, that's about it. You're gonna lose hairs. Hairs naturally fall out. This is actually one of my wife's hairs from this morning because my mustache hair is not that long. So one hair saved. Again, mash it up, mixy mixy. Okay, now I start basically at the corners, get both sides. Again, I'm going for a heavy layer waxed mustache. Work it in, shape it. Put those centers. Okay, now it's definitely starting to take some shape. For whatever reason, I find three applications works for me. Again, your mustache, you might like something different, more or less. You could always add more. It's a pain in the ass trying to take some out. I've heard some guys able to get some out with like a tissue, take a Kleenex or something and wipe the, wipe the hairs. But I never take it out. I end up with what's there is there and I'm gonna make it work. Okay, now if you wanted to roll English, maybe you could go out like that, straight out, tight rope. Pretty cool look, just not my thing. Okay. Again, I do three small applications, so I'm going back to the wax now for the last time. Again, it's not a rule, it's just what I do. You find you need more wax, go back and get more wax. Again, no heat this time. Some of the stiffer waxes, you're gonna need heat, maybe even just to get it out of the container. But this dandelion stuff is the bomb. With heat or without heat, it's gonna go in smooth. Okay, so now I'm gonna be a little more creative and try and make sure we get everything we want wax, because hopefully this will be the last application of wax. Middle hairs are always tough, as they're usually shorter. That's just the way we grow. I think it's from evolution. I mean, the caveman never curled his mustache, and when he bit a piece of caribou or something, he was biting hairs off all the time, and I think that's why we just don't grow long hairs in the middle. A little bit of evolution. Some guys grow like crazy. Other guys like me, slow in the middle. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I try to flatten my bars out, curl them that way. Very common misconception is twisting. No twisting, just dragging it out, dragging it out. Rub it out, rub it out. Okay. Sometimes like now, I think I'm gonna go back to my camp cone. I'm gonna try and neaten this middle up a little bit before it sets. Got a little heavy in here. Move that over there. Move that over there. Okay, I think the middle is looking good. A couple more tugs on the outside. All right. Time and patience, time and patience. All right, for me, that's pretty much so 
where it's gonna go. Now to curl it, I basically just hold it back with my finger and bend it over. Your mustache, you do what you want, you do what makes you happy. This seems to be what works best for me. Bend it around. I like to grab the tip, pull the tip in a little bit, smooth that tip out, and it should start to hold right there. Yeah, that's not so bad. Now to try to get the other side to match. Perfection is gonna be in your eye. Nobody else is ever gonna look at it as closely as I'm looking at it right now. And nobody is gonna judge you as hard, harsh as you're gonna judge yourself. Sucker doesn't wanna go the right way, so we'll make it. I'm the boss, my mustache. And tighten that up a little bit more. There we go. This one needs a little bit more here. And we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to flatten that out a little bit. Sometimes I get better results if I let the wax just sit and set for a little while. It gets a little stiffer. Again, every wax is going to be different. Every mustache is going to be different. So... Do what makes you happy. Another lost soldier there. Again, it happens. Hairs only live so long. They'll die, they'll fall out. What you don't want to do is yank hard, pull hairs out. That's just sad. Sad and unnecessary. Okay. Well, that's pretty much so it. That's pretty much so what I would, what I would roll with right there. Again, if I'm during the course of the day, I can always touch it up, add a little more wax. When this firms up, it's a lot easier to move, bend the curls. Probably about an hour from now, it'll be nice and set. And I can go back in there, tighten up the tips a little bit, squeeze them down a little bit. Just style it. Your mustache, you do what you want with your mustache. Some of the guys might know me, and they know at work, I can't get away with this. This is not something that my boss would approve of, too big. So what I do to try and hide the mustache is uh, I grab myself a little chapstick here and what I'll do is I'll make tight curls, tight curls for some reason will make my boss a little bit happier. Happy boss, happy life. So what I'll do is I'll put the chapstick on the curl and I'll roll the curl behind itself. I'm not overlapping it here, I'm rolling it behind. And then from there, I pretty much will slide the whole thing off the chapstick, twisting a little bit so it comes out. Now that curl there, I will pinch those hairs together. I'll pinch these hairs here together. And roll it all like that. And boom, that's pretty much so. My tight curl option. So this is what I like. This is what the boss likes. This is what the boss sees. This is what I do when the boss ain't around. And again, from here, the dandelions, it stays pretty pliable, the wax, and you can adjust it throughout the course of the day. So when I'm doing my thing and no bosses are around, I'll take this tight curl and I'll just simply peel it off. Bam, reshape it a little bit. Put the curl back in. Flatten out that tip, because nobody likes a big squared off tip. This one's drooping a little bit. Let's straighten that up a little bit. Again, this is getting a little droopy, only because the wax hasn't fully set yet. The more you touch it, the more pliable it stays. When you stop touching it, it's gonna set up and get nice and stiff. So, right about there, that's it. Not gonna bore you anymore. I hope you like what I do. Remember, it's your mustache. Try what you want. Lots of products out there, lots of advice. Some good, some bad. If it sounds good to you, try it. Then you'll know if you like it or not. Thanks for watching. Peace.